Okay, this exercise is called side glide. It, there's another version of side gliding where we do it on the wall with a pillow, but this version of side glide is usually more effective for the person that has quite flexible range, that has a big range of side glide so that they can achieve enough movement to resolve the problem. The person that needs this exercise usually has asymmetrical pain, so pain that's more one-sided in the back or potentially just one-sided, and frequently the pain will refer uh, into the buttock or down the leg. Usually the direction of side gliding is away from the painful side, however a McKenzie assessment from a qualified professional will figure out exactly which exercise you need. So to do this in this scenario, let's just say I have left buttock pain or left back pain referring to the left side. Um, so what you do is feet shoulder width apart, best to hang on to something around kind of a height that allows you to stay stable without having to flex forward. Basically what you do, so feet shoulder width apart, I'm going to slide my hips away from the painful side and then back. And with repetition you want to take the movement further each time. Now to get more pressure, I can apply pressure with my hand and usually to preserve the angle it's best to put your hand back each time. Slide first and then add pressure. Now the same exercise can be done without holding onto something, it's just hands just against the wall, but I find personally that if you hold onto something it steadies the body to get a better range of side gliding. The expected response with this exercise would be that after doing 10 to 12 repetitions pain after would be relieved or more central to the spine.